Hi, I'm Jay and welcome to my studio. Please follow me. So here right now we are in the workshop. I basically have like a wood shop, I would say. I'm welding here, doing ceramics, as you can see here. And this is a project, for example, I'm doing right now with uh, Galerie Kornfeld. In my childhood, I grew up with parents that were designers. My father, he, he made, uh, he designed motorcycles and my mother, she, she, she designed um, patterns for fabric. And you can see it in these works, I think. You, there's still this cast that my father teached me how to do and the color, the colors come a lot from my mom. So uh, since my childhood, I'm thinking about uh, the creative moment of creating something. And then it goes out to, to, to the reality. It's like the motorcycles, they all of a sudden they stood on the streets and I was as a child really amazed about this. And this process, like how a form is born and then at the end is being put out into the world and being there as a, as a product that you can never change again. It's just there, everybody knows it. This moment like is, is for me extremely interesting and this is what my work maybe is about. Yeah, so you're in a band, you play music. How yeah. does music influence your art with us? Yeah. Um, music is uh, super important for me, and I think um, the way music works, the same way art works for me. This structured moment where you have a, a, a holder and then something really free in it, like the same is with music. You always have a you have a, have a construct, you know, when you want to, when to play the chords, but then there's a solo and then there's a change in voice, you know, so uh, for me, I take a lot of energy from the music into the, into the art. Have your art were a music genre or what? Um, the art would be, oh my God, jazz just came to my mind. Yeah, no, I but I, <laughs> There are a lot of sculptures that I make that, that have, uh, where you see a form and you know okay this form is actually made for this reason like you you can tell but then um when i cut out things with the ceramics sometimes pieces um, pieces come out that are just accidents for me that's a bit like what creativity is i think Creativity means that you recognize the moment where where where, an act, where you recognize a good accident. Like you 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 have a form that you never saw before, and instead of throwing it away, you you take it and you appreciate it, and then you give it a chance of being accepted as a sculpture, <laughs> something like this. Usually, I work here with a computer. Here is my laser cutter. That's my baby. I make a lot of uh, work with that with that uh, with that machine. It cuts out wood and um, cardboard that I paint first, and then you have these little um, you get these little things out of it that you can puzzle together. So a lot of my work is actually puzzling. I have a super old computer from 1999, which is actually not allowed anymore. So I shouldn't talk about it. And, uh, oh, and here I wanted to show you, these are, uh, these are my sketchbooks. I, I really like to draw all my ideas on really cheap paper with ball pen. And then at the end of the year, or in the middle of the year sometimes, I put together, I put the, glue them together uh, just with wood glue in a book. And here you can see maybe some ideas, oh yeah. Here you can see a couple of ideas for paintings I did. Uh, here I had a really good day because I, I painted actually this, this and this one. Usually it's not that effective. I grew up in East Germany. We had a lot of patterns. We had a lot of uh, houses that had uh, that had concrete patterns as facades and we all at least my all my art friends they love it they they, they are really into it and repetition and creating a pattern is one of the easiest way to create catchy beauty so i'm really interested in that and yeah i'm just trying to find out what uh, what it is that makes me 
love an object. Like I try to find this, I try to find code kind of, of behind behind architecture and design and art. Coming from the 80s makes my life maybe more, a bit more haptic and maybe because of that I do things a bit more with my hands. But now there's other things that are um, uh, that are in interesting. Maybe I'm yeah I'm totally 80s and I can show people about this time, and I love to show them. And maybe there's something interesting that I can teach people now about it uh, that uh, you don't see today anymore. Bye bye and thanks a lot for the visit. See you later.